Oh yes, it is possible to experience some of the best Israel has to offer in just a weekend. Just look at these photos. You got the Tel Aviv and the beaches. You got these salt lakes. You got the famous Dead Sea. You got some barren wasteland in the desert somewhere. And of course you got Holy Jerusalem. So naturally you will not get a deep understanding of the country and the culture in just a weekend, but you will build up an urge to come and visit this awesome place again. And also, the Israeli government expects to have most of the population fully vaccinated by late March. So chances are you'll be able to visit sometime soon. All right, let's do this. If you're anything like me, first thing to do is leave in your stuff at the hotel, rush into the beach. Tel Aviv beach stretches for 14 kilometers, got great sand and is the natural meeting point for the younger crowd. And for 30-something men just wanting beer. During summer, parties at the beach can get wild and are especially favored by the LGBT community. Spend the afternoon with a nice long walk along the water, picking up some good vibes. Disclaimer, traveling farther into the West Bank and the Gaza Strip might feel compelling when you are this close. But it's tricky, needs some serious planning, and is generally not recommended for security reasons. Gasaremsan, här tar det ena slut och kriget börjar. Hur känns det Jakob? Ja, det är spännande. Jag är taggad. Gå bort dit så väntar jag här då. We skip this time. So, what about nightlife? Well, if crazy is what you're after, this is the place. Nightlife in Israel is savage, late and liberal, and should not be missed by anyone. How, how do you make love in Israel? Hard, aggressively. Everything is with passion. It's a passionate affair, if you know what I mean. Why is everything aggressive here? Just because... At any moment, tomorrow might be a war, you know? Zakhaim, everybody! Everybody! Vi måste skaffa en hatt, Jakob. Massa tonåringar med halvautomatiska givär. Det här blir nog en avslappnad resa. Yeah, get used to see a lot of young people with big guns. Det är inte problem med security. Military service is mandatory for everyone over 18 years, and in Israel this is no joke. There is a constant risk for armed combat. Don't be scared by them, they are here for your protection. Day 2. Get out of bed early and head straight for Jerusalem. Public bus will get you there in about an hour, and train is even faster. Där ute väntar alltså Jerusalem. Hur känns detta? Du är i Jerusalem nu. Känner du dig helig? Jerusalem is like no other place in the world. On a brief encounter, it's a modern medium-sized city like any other. But once you reach the walls and inside the narrow alleys, you are humbled. You can feel the historical and religious significance of this place just vibrating through the air. The old city is divided into four quarters, the Jewish, the Armenian, the Christian and the Muslim. And you never know what's lurking around the corner. Once you reach the Western Wall, formerly known as the Wailing Wall, religion will be even more prominent.
We were even invited to the holy sanctum of the Orthodox Jews, feeling a little out of place but deeply thankful. Det här med att klaga på allt, är det, är det smittsamt eller? Jag har inte klagat. Har jag klagat? Jävligt gott! Yeah, but my friend is the one... Uh, with... <laughs> Shalom! If you feel ready to leave Jerusalem, famous Dead Sea is only an hour away. It's hard to describe just how salty this water is. Slick up on it. Slick up on it. Not? Don't do it. Whatever you do, don't get it in your eyes. Svider det eller? Ner med röva ska du se. That could mean a visit to the hospital. Som en jävla badboll. Crazy man, it's crazy. Flyger du eller? I'm flying. The feeling of floating weightlessly gives you a true sense of serenity. Vi tar i sanden och drar den ner. Till och med köttbullen flyter. Köttbullen flyter, men jag flyter lite till sidan bara. Är det första gången du känner dig lätt? <laughs> Thanks bro. <laughs> Don't have any open wounds. Lika bra för överstöka. Cuz that's gonna hurt. Oh. Kommer vara den första i världshistorien som inte flyter i döda havet. Nej men. Inte det rätt hos mig. I can fly. Jag ska ha lite mer salt på pomfritterna, jag kan få mitt finger. Hallå där pigan, hur fan kan du överleva här? Nej just det. Han bits den jäveln. Ah, men han gör det. Han suger typ ut något ur mig. Nej, döda dem inte. Jakob i naken! Bingo! One thing, Israel is not cheap. Jakob är just nu på väg att beställa de godaste pitasarna i hela världen, enligt uppgift. Det är bästa pitas i the world. Trevligt folk här. Utlåtande. Bra skit. Det är solklart. Vad är en mango, Jakob? En mango är en stridsmaskin, en dödsmaskin. Mango är, de är... Mjuka på ytan, men alldeles stor kärna. De är stenhårda. Det är jävla hårda. Jävla hårt är det. Okej, okay, serious okay. question. Yes. If a bomb alarm goes off, yeah. how do you react? You run to the bomb shelter. But, I don't know, some people get really scared. Some people are used to it. Ja, men de klagar på fel saker. Fel saker! What are you taking? <laughs> We were just... Uh... Still got some time on your third day. Visit the old important harbor town Jaffa, now grown together with Tel Aviv. But first, a beach break. I think you're on air, Jacob. Hey, crazy. Jaffa has played a huge part in history and has been inhabited by everyone from Arabs to Albanians to night crusaders, now being a mix of Jewish, Christian, and Muslim. The vibe is relaxed and cheerful. And the crazy mix of influences can sometimes get a bit confusing. Hej dagboken. Det som inte fick hända har hänt. Häng med. Stod och duscha. That's all from Israel. Thank you so much for watching and keep watching my other videos. Or go do something meaningful. <laughs>